Hi, I'm Sorupa Sai, co-sensor at Earth Biomechanics. In this presentation, we will learn about equipotential line. It's a line of constant velocity potential function. d phi can be written as dou phi by dou x into dx plus dou phi by dou y into dy, which is equal to zero. Dou phi by dou x is minus u into dx and dou phi by dou y is minus v into dy is equal to 0. So we can write dy by dx equal to minus u divided by v. dy by dx is nothing but the slope of a equipotential line. So the slope of this line can be written as minus u divided by d as dy by dx is equal to minus u by v. Streamline is a line of constant stream function. So we can write d psi equal to dou psi by dou x into dx plus dou psi by dou y into dy equal to 0. Dou psi by dou x is minus v into dx plus dou psi by dou y is minus u into dy equal to 0. So dy by dx can be written as v by u. And dy by dx is nothing but the slope of the stream line. And the slope of the stream line can be even written as v by u as dy by dx is equal to v by u. Next is the condition for continuity. For three dimensional equation, the continuity equation is dou u by dou x plus dou v by dou y plus dou w by dou z is equal to zero. Since there are velocity components in all the three directions, that is in x direction it is u, in y direction it is v, and in z direction it is w. Whereas for two dimensional flow, there will be only two velocity components. One is along x direction, that is u, and the other one is along y direction, that is v. And the velocity component along z direction, that is w, will be equal to zero. And in terms of velocity potential, it can be dou square phi by dou x square plus dou square phi by dou y square equal to zero. Next is the condition for irrotational flow. Dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou y should be equal to 0. And dou square psi by dou x square plus dou square psi by dou y square must be equal to 0. So when these two conditions are satisfied, then we say that the flow is irrotational. Thank you.